Hi everyone, this is the IC705 and what I want to do is give you a basic overview, a beginner's guide on how to use it. Okay, first thing we should make sure we have is the internal battery, make sure that's charged, uh, the some type of antenna or a dummy load, and your uh, mic, make sure you connect that, and maybe an SD card. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to reset the machine. So I'm going to click on Menu, and then I'm going to click on Set, and then there's some Pages, Menus. We've got one out of three Menu or Pages. So I'm going to call them Pages. You can, do, you can scroll up and down, or you can use the main wheel and scroll where you want to go. In this case, I'm going to go to page three out of three. We're going to click on others and then we're going to reset then I'm going to click on all reset it says carefully read caution okay click on next are you sure you want to clear all the memories and settings yes and then what's going to happen is right here on the bottom all reset okay now let's lower down the volume so this is our uh, volume knob AF knob we can lower down the volume. We can always click on it and then select a, a RF gain. Let's do that again. RF gain. We can lower that down. And we can also cl um, click on or select squelch. And then it'll disappear if you don't do anything to it. Okay. Now let's talk about um, brightness. So the brightness is going to be under menu and then set then we're going to go to page two to display lcd backlight let's click on that <clears throat> now there's a sensor here when the auto adjust is available when you cover the sensor you can see the brightness is going down and when the room is brighter, the adjustment of the brightness goes up. I don't like that. <laughs> We're going to click on um, uncheck auto adjust, and I'm going to adjust it the way I want in brightness. It can be, it can go pretty bright. It looks really nice at night. Okay, so I adjust it with the main knob. Go back, go back, go back. All right, we are back on the home screen. So I want the call sign um, because maybe I want to use D-Star or something. Um, let's click on Menu, Set, and then let's go to page one out of three. Click on My Station, My Call Sign. I'm going to click on that. There's uh, how many slots? So we have six slots available for different call signs. I'm going to click on Hold on number one. So I can type in my call sign, my call sign, click and hold, number one, there we go, edit. And then we're going to go K, N, 6, B, S, T, enter. All right, go back, go back, go back, and we are at, uh, at this position. Now, if you click and hold on the power button, right, and then click and hold on the power button again to turn it on, you'll see the call sound down here, KN6BSD. That's pretty neat. So it's set now for that. Uh, GPS. We, right now the GPS is blinking. It's looking for the satellites. I want to turn that off. So we click on menu. We can go to there's a page one and the page two. Let's go to page two. Let's click on GPS. Let's uh, go to page one, one out of two. GPS set, GPS select. Right now it's on. Let's turn it off. Now it's off. Let's go back, go back. And now the GPS is turned off. Okay, now let's talk about power. So right now the uh, internal battery is running the radio. 
if you click on the multi uh, knob here, you can see that um, only half of the bar is displayed. The other half is shaded out. So what this means is that the internal battery will give you five watts max, uh, but you can set it at different max, uh, five watts or lower. So right now it's five watts max, but let's say I wanted to change that. We can do that by clicking on the multi knob first. Let's click on menu and let's click on I note that on page one and page two, the set button is still there. So we click on set. Let's go to page one. Let's go to functions. Click on functions. And then after you pick on functions, let's go to page or menu two. And it's right here, max TX power battery pack, five watts. And so we can change that. We can change that to 2.5, one watt, or even as low as 0.5 as a max. So 2.5, 2.5, go back, go back, and then click on the multi knob here. And now you can see that the max is at 2.5 watts or less, at zero watts, 2.5. And then after 2.5, you cannot, because you set a limit to it. Okay. Let's click on a, no, a multi knob and then multi function knob and let's turn the radio off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an external battery to it. Let's see what happens. External battery in this case will be able to give to give me uh, 10 watts. This is a bio eno. Uh, 12 watts. You can see that the uh, radio is being charged via the battery when the radio is turned off or on, but we can change that. Okay, but first let's turn it on, press and hold. And we can now look at the multi, the multi knob here, click on it. You can see now we can go up to 10 watts, but again, we can limit how many watts we would want to work with if we don't want 10 watts. Click on the multi knob. One way, there's two ways of doing it. One is going through the same process, menu, set, function. We're gonna to go to page three, max, TX power. Click on that, that's a lot of steps, isn't it? 10 watts, but let's say you wanted to add uh, one watt, or okay, 0.5 watts, right? Let's go back, let's go back, click here, and you can see now it's only maxed at 1.5, no, 0.5 watts, 0.5. Um, and you can see I can move the knob, but that's not affecting it until I reach to 5% or lower. Okay. We can click on the multi knob. There's a faster way of changing for the external battery, the, the max uh, wattage. Click on function. Then we can go to page two. And here it says max TX power. You can see it says 0.5. So we can change that, change it back to 10. Now it says 10, go back. Now let's click on the multi knob and we're back to 10. Cool. Now, now that we've uh, figured that out, what about the battery level? Let's look at that. So if we, so we click on the quick button here and then scroll down to page three, we can see voltage. And now you can see both batteries, right? And it gave you a little bit about the charge, right? 
and give you a little information. Right now, the battery, the external battery, is charging the, the external battery is charging the internal battery. The radio is being run by the external battery because it has more voltage. And um, so you can easily tell what's going on over here uh, in terms of your power. Now, sometimes you don't want your um, internal battery being charged by an external source. So what we can do is, while the, while the radio is turned on, that's very important. Let's, uh, let's go back, right? So what we can do is, let's go to the menu. Let's click on set. Uh, let's see, let's go to page um, one, okay? Function, okay, click on function. Let's go all the way down to page eight. Charging, power on. So right now I want that off. So let's go back, let's go back. Now, when we click on quick, and note that we're still on page three, it didn't change it, that's awesome. Voltage, now you can see both separately. Now, the external battery, or external power source, is not charging the radio. But you can see now the voltage on both. The external battery, though, is still running the radio, but it's not charging the uh, battery, internal battery. Okay, now, when you, let's uh, get out. When you turn this off, though, you see, it's still charging. It will charge um, when the radio is off, though. Okay, let's turn that on. Now let's talk about auto power off. Let's say you want your radio to turn off after 30 minutes or something. Let's go to menu, set, and let's go to function. And let's go all the way up to page two, I believe. Or we can use this, right? Yeah, we can use the wheel here. Um, we can go to auto power off. It's right here. And we can change it 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes. So we click on one of those, say 30 minutes. Now the radio will turn off in 30 minutes automatically. So I'm going to leave it off. We can go back. And sometimes when you connect your radio to a PC, and depending on the cable and the, situ and the conditions, um, the computer tablet will charge the radio. But let's say I don't want that. So click on menu, click on set, and then we're gonna go to function on the first page. We're gonna go all the way down to page eight. We were there before. USB power input. We're going to turn this off as well. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is data. Um, it has an SD card. You can save your settings, uh, save recordings. So that's a nice feature. But the first thing I would recommend is to format an SD card. Make sure you're not using that SD card. Don't erase any important information. We're gonna format it. So we're gonna to go to menu. We're going to go to set, and then we're going to go to SD card, which is on page three here. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to format. And then it says, do you want to format? You can click on yes. I'm going to say no. I don't want to format it. I got some information in there that I want. And then just go back. All right, so you just formatted your disk. And you set up the radio the way you want it, right? With all the settings. So how do you save those settings on disk so that you can always have a backup? To do, to do that, you click on menu. We're gonna click on set 
and we're going to click on page three for SD card. We're going to scroll up and we're going to click on save settings. Then we're going to click on new file because that's what we want. And we'll just say something here. We'll give it a name. I'm going to enter. You sure you want to save it? Yes. Now it's saving all that information. Let's say you have um, memories um, for repeaters or just, you know, different frequencies. Also, the way it looks and feels, everything is saved. So we go back here, back. All right, so we've saved the settings. Let's say I want to delete those settings, right? We go to menu, I'm going to set as to page three SD card and we go to settings and then here's the let's say I want to delete that one click and hold make sure you click on delete not delete all that's not a good idea click on delete you sure you want to do that yes and it's gone okay great and then let's go back so let's say there is a situation where you want to load your backup. How do you do that? For example, before I do that, uh, here's menu, right? Let's click on menu. If you go to page one here on memory, I don't have anything on memory for frequency. Let's see if this works. Okay. So let's go, let's exit. So click on menu. I'm going to click on set page three for SD card. We're going to load the settings, load this one here. And we are going to select all. It says keep settings in the repeater list. No, I don't want anything. Um, and then it says the new reference adjust settings will be saved. OK, I'll say yes. And it's doing its thing, and it's going to ask me to restart. If it doesn't, it didn't work. Or you did something else. That happens. Ah, restart. Turn it off. And then turn it on. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's go to memory or oh, menu. I'm sorry, men, menu, memory. Ah, look, I got all the things that I want. Great. And, you know, it has a certain look and feel to it, too. Um, now, now that we have that, let's continue on here. Um, let's look at um, the record, the record setting. So your conversations can be recorded. Um, thing is, the way it's set up, the default way, there's a lot of um, um, customization. And you should read the manual uh, for the way you want it. The way I want it is that I just press record and it records everything, regardless if I press the uh, PTT button or if somebody else is talking to me, I just want it to record. So we click on menu and then we hit record. Hmm. And then what we'll do is we'll hit record, record, recorder set. So let's click on that. And then on the first page, it's RX recording, RX recording condition. And it should be on always. So we click on always. All right. And then um, we are, we also want the file split to be off. Okay. So it's off. And then we want the um, PTT auto record to be off. Okay. So we go back to start the recording. There's, a, there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can click on, sort of like right now, right? Let's 
Let's go to the 10 meter band. Usually nobody's in the 10 meter band. All that is noise. Okay, there's a 10 meter band. And so let's say I, I wanted to start uh, recording in that, you know, recording and see if somebody uh, calls, calls me back. I doubt it. Um, but here we're going to go to um, menu, right? And we're going to click on record. So this is a longer way of doing it. And then here it says record start. Okay, and then go back. You can see that the red dot is now on because it's recording and the SD card is flashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I doubt anybody's going to answer me. And what I like to do is I like to click on, right now we are in fix, I like center um, because I can control the width a little bit better than 10 kilohertz this way and then that way. And you can probably see me speak here. I'm going to click on the PTT button. Is anyone listen? Is anyone on this frequency? Is anyone on this frequency KN6BST? So as you can see, when I clicked on the PTT, it shows the waveform, which is pretty neat. Is anyone on this frequency? Is anyone on this frequency KN6BST? Okay, it doesn't seem like anybody's there. All right, so what I'm going to do is, oh, the other way of turning it on or off um, is a little bit faster if we click on quick. And it gets right there on page three, stop, not stopped. Pretty neat, right? Um, but there's more to it. <laughs> it records, but it, there's a lot more meta information. Um, so there's a lot more information on that recording. So if we click on menu, record, um, and we look at play files, and then we click on the folder, and we click on what we just did, it tells you the time, the date, the frequency, and the mode. Pretty neat, right? We can fast forward it. Wow, pretty neat. So that, we can go back. That's invaluable. And go back. Because sometimes you're, you know, you're doing a lot of contacts and sometimes you might forget, um, you know, what frequency you're in, who you're speaking to. Um, that's a really nice feature. Now, other things, like for example, the time and the date. So let's change the time and date. To do that, you can go to menu, you can go to set, and then uh, you can do uh, page two. And the clock is right here. And you can change the date and time right there. The date and time. And then you should also look at your UTC. Right? You can change your UTC uh, so that when you do, when you set it, you can go back. So that when you do contests, you know the UTC time. Um, it's recommended. Now, if you want to check the time and the UTC time, you can click on the clock here, the time, and it gives you that information. Pretty neat, right? That is, <laughs> that's fabulous. Okay, now let's uh, look at the stereo headphones. When you click on the stereo headphones, you want both left and right. Uh, to be heard. So let's do that. Let's go to menu. Let's go to set uh, the second page. Go to connectors. 
and it's going to be on the first page, uh, SP Jack. We click on that, we want to go left and right and then back. So that's going to definitely, you'll be able to hear it on both ends. The next thing I want to do is just show you some things um, so that you can operate the radio. For example, changing the frequency. You can click on the 7 here, and you can go, let's say, to the 20 meter band. And then you're in the 20 meter band. If you click on the 14 here and click on F, I, and P, you can type in the frequency that you want. Let's say 7.1. Seven five zero zero. Let's say you want that. You click on enter, so you're in there. Um, other things that are uh, useful is this center and fix. Um, when you're under fix, right? If you click on center and fix, when you're in fix, um, this band is fixed and your um, marker here moves. And if you click on center and fix. You're in center, and now the band is moving. So what I like to do is, on fix, the this is much wider, and I can see uh, kind of like the whole band, not all the time. And the edge, you can change the edges, meaning you can change the numbers in the bottom. Um, but you can sort of see what's going on throughout the band, most of it. And then, if there is one particular area that you want to look at, you can always go somewhere, click on center and fix, and then the center, this kind of like you zoom, now you're zoomed in, and you could always change the span of your, how, how zoomed in you are. Here it's 10 kilohertz on either side. Um, and you can change it to 225K, 50K, and so forth, until it almost becomes um, um, the same width as in fix. I like to keep it so that I can look to see what's going on very narrow uh, because then what I can do is I can click on the um, volume button and then click on RF gain and then maybe increase the gain a little bit to see if I can find that signal that I'm looking for. Now it gets really noisy, especially when you go back to fix, that's really noisy. So you could click on the a, uh, the volume button here, lower down the RF, way down, and then you can start looking to see if you can see a signal. Like let's go over here on 14. Uh, the bands are really, really dead. Um, you see there's no signal whatsoever. That might be, if you can sort of see that, but unlikely, but we can, we can click on center and then pump that up a little bit. Ah. Increase the volume. We're at USB. And the way I've set it up is that uh, USB is upper sideband, so it's going to be on the right of the line. So I can sort of hear that with the volume. And of course, if you click on function, you can click on the amplifiers, AGC, fast or slow notch, noise blanketer, noise reduction, noise reduction. That's a lot of noise. But you can click on that and you can click on hold on these buttons and then with the multi um, multi function knob you can change the, the level of that particular uh, filter. It's pretty neat, right? So if you click on the center fix button right there that's that's a lot of noise but if you again you're in fix but if you lower down the rf gain 
I, you can, it's very hard to see, but there, there might be a signal. There's definitely seems to be a signal over here, see? And I can't really see that until I go into center and maybe increase the gain. Oh, it's not there anymore. I'll go back to uh, fix. I'll lower down the RF. Um, you can click on the, the kilohertz here area, and then you can scroll. Right now I'm on fix. Uh, you can click on center and they'll scroll. The numbers on the bottom will scroll instead. You can see that I'm moving very fast. You can click and hold actually on the on that kilohertz area and you can make it at 0.1 kilohertz instead. 0.5, right now it's one. I think that's the default or 10. So I'll click on one. You can also click here on the double zeros. So you won't move as fast uh, below one kilohertz. And if you click on if you click and hold here you'll bring another zero to be a little more accurate. Uh, let's exit. On the microphone, if you click on the multi-function uh, knob, you can see that you can uh, fix the gain, mic gain, the compression, and the monitor. Um, you can always uh, change those values there. Um, and then the menu, if you click on menu over here, you have the scope, click on menu, uh, click on audio, gives you like some information about the audio. Voice, here, you can, when you, you can do a pre-recording and then you can record something and then you can have it play live. That's pretty neat. Click on menu, you can read that on the manual meter. This meter is super important when you do um, digital modes. You can start looking at uh, different things like the ALC and how much, how warm your um, rig is and so forth. Gives you other information. Click on menu here. SWR is really neat uh, because it, it will allow you to see if your antenna is um, has a proper SWR. Um, there's a few steps on doing that. You might want to look at that. And then memory, you can always add memories. Some people say, well, you don't need the memories on an HF rig. Well, this, this particular uh, radio, remember, also has UHF, VHF, so you can always put uh, your repeaters. HF sometimes have repeaters as well. You know, other frequencies, uh, QRP frequencies. Maybe there are certain frequencies that you use all the time. APRS frequency, in this case, airport frequencies. So you might want to do that. Let's click on menu here. I don't, I don't know anything about scan yet or MPAD. I don't remember what that is. Oh yeah, MPAD. Actually, maybe I can do this um, if there is a particular, let's exit. So let's say there's a partic particular frequency. We're going to click here to get rid of that extra value. There's a frequency here that I want. I can always click on MPAD. And I believe it saved that. Let's see. It sure did. See, it saved it automatically. And if I scroll, let's exit. If I scroll somewhere, I can click on MPAD and see it brings me back. It's a, it's a, um, a temporary quick uh, memory. And you can go somewhere else. Let's say on the ten meter band, click and hold on MPAD, saved it. There's a double, there's like a double uh, sound, double beep. So if you click on a menu and pad, it saves them there. Okay. I remember now in record, we went over that a little bit. I'll go back and then 
set, um, which we use a lot. This button here, let's let's go back. Let's exit. Uh, exit. If you click on this button right here, uh, which is speech. At zero two eight point five two six megahertz. That's USB. pretty. That's pretty neat. Um, it gives you the um, frequency and the mode that you're in. And if you click and hold on this button, it'll lock the buttons, but it won't lock your frequency uh, pad there. Let's unlock here. Uh, a lot of the times when, let's say you're in seven megahertz or something, right? And you uh, wanna change um, the 40 meter band uses upper sideband, but you want lower sideband, you click on USB, click on SSB again. Now you're in lower sideband. Keep it on upper sideband. And you can see here, you have the data mode, which is something that you might need when you do uh, digital modes. And then you have FM, AM, FM, and, and such. You can hear um, FM stations, AM stations, if you save those in memory. So that's that's definitely something that you might want to consider. Uh, it has Vox here. In the Vox is on, I believe. There you go, it's right here, it says Vox. And you press and hold on Vox, it gives you these options. I hope this was useful. And uh, if you liked it, please uh, consider giving me a thumbs up please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you out there. Uh, this is Frank, KN6BST73. Bye-bye.